describes what's happening. So I wanted to update my uh, AMD drivers on my Hive OS system, and there's no real easy way to do it. Um, it's not like the NVIDIA rigs. If you're running the NVIDIA rigs uh, or NVIDIA GPUs, then you could just log into the uh, the command line and just do uh, a simple uh, NVIDIA driver update. But uh, I'm suspecting the AMD driver is part of the actual kernel. It's actually built into the Linux kernel. So you can't just upgrade it. Um, at least it, there's no easy way to do it that I can see. I mean, I could download the drivers and try to recompile them. But, you know, I don't want to break things. <laughs> You know, and I'm actually an IT guy, and I've, I've built hundreds and hundreds of Linux-based phone systems, Linux web servers, you know, for the last 20 years. So I started messing with Linux in the, probably the late 90s, um, but I've actually been an IT guy for like 25, 30 years. But, uh, all right, so I know that I, I don't want to break this thing because it has to be in production, so I'm not going to experiment with drivers and do that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm just going to download the image again and upgrade it to the latest image. But, yeah, it's no easy way to do it, and... But I'm actually on this particular mining rig, I'm running an M2 drive, and so i got to pop up the M2 drive, hook up to my USB adapter, uh, use Balin Etcher, but I'll show you the procedure what I have to do. But it's pretty pretty basic. Um, so my rig's probably going to be down for about an hour, half an hour, um, because it's actually about a 1.6 gig file, I think, so uh, even though I do actually have USB 3.0 and uh, M2 drives are pretty fast, it's still going to take a while, so let me show you the rig that I'm talking about. Now here is the uh, M2 adapter, and by the way, I've actually done all the updates on this thing on Hive. So it does all the updates, it just doesn't upgrade the uh, driver. Um, so yeah, the main reason behind this is that I want to go into Team Red, or Team Red Miner B mode to lower my power consumption down by about 50 watts. Um, but I can't do that, because I can't, the driver is too old. And I've been running this driver probably for probably a year or more, so... Um, Alright, so it's time to shut this down. All right, so I'm in the process of shutting down the server. So one of the things you want to do is you want to go into the uh, rig settings here, through reset settings, and then you want to download the rig config. And I'm going to copy this configuration file over to the uh, new image. All right, so I'm back in OBS, and the first thing this thing popped up the uh, folder here. So I'm going to open up uh, Balin Etcher. Let's do a flash file. I'm going to choose and downloads and actually I gotta unpack this all right so it's unpacked we're gonna choose the image select the target it's a large 120 SSD drive select flash yes because it's actually a hard drive yes I'm sure all right so that's gonna go for a while Oh yeah, well, this is flashing. Uh, if you're going to be running uh, HiveOS for any sort of like long term, you're going to want some, some sort of hard drive. Um, USB drives just can't handle a lot of writes, so you can actually burn up the uh, USB drive pretty fast. So it doesn't actually like sustain writes over and over again. Um, so yeah, definitely use either a hard drive or M2 drive. All right, so once the uh, flash is complete, uh, you just close out Balin Etcher, and then you have to unplug the USB drive and plug it back in. All right, so sometimes the uh, drive won't actually come up, but you need to copy over that rig configuration. So I'm actually in uh, computer management, and this is the high drive. You can tell this is, it's an NTFS partition, which is Windows native. And the rest are going to be a Linux partition, so you won't be able to see them in Windows. Unless you have, I'm going to add a drive letter. We'll just make this D. So that allows me to go into here, and I just need to copy over my rig configuration over to here. Alright, I'm going to put the uh, system back in the uh, rig and fire it up. Alright, power this rig back on. Yeah. If you're wondering how I did that, I made another video about the Zeta Guard. Put a link down below if you want that. It's cool. I can actually, it's a power meter. Uh, for me, I liked it because I could uh, remote power on and off. So if the rig ever locks up, I can just uh, remotely shut it off. So I can see my rigs in HiveOS on my phone. And if one's locked up, I can just power it off and power it back on. Alright, the uh, server's booted up again, and as you can see, I'm on NVIDIA, I mean, excuse me, not NVIDIA, but AMD 20.4. So I went from 19.3 to 
Yep. Go back. I'm actually going to do the rest of the updates. So as you can see, there is updates here. So, I mean, I can either do it from here, or I can also do it from the command prompt. I actually like the command prompt. All right, now that the update is complete, I'm going to go back and apply my flight sheet, which is Team Red Miner, running, uh, sending my traffic over to uh, NiceHash. And then come back here. This might take a second. Miner. Yeah, I always get that red warning. I don't know what it is. Uh, so for me, I, I wanted to get this into B mode. B mode is more energy efficient for Team Red Miner. And I couldn't do that with the 19.3 version driver, so hopefully, I'll see once it gets in here. I'll make another video about going into B mode and actually trying to lower the power consumption of my rig. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, B mode, yeah, well no, actually one is in A mode and three are in B mode. What I'm looking at is right here. That is a trip. So, if there's an easier way that you guys know of uh, upgrading these AMD drivers, uh, let me know. I mean, I don't actually really want to download drivers um, because I've actually breaking mini kernels <laughs> in my life. So, uh, I mean, it's a lot easier. I mean, if that's the, the case, it's easier for me just to re-image because it's a lot faster than trying to custom compile a kernel just to mess around with it. But, all right, guys, cool. Let me know if this helps somebody. Thank <laughs> you.